Hi, and welcome to episode 10 of season 4 of Brief History of Nothing on the 5th of June 2016. And what happened on this day? Well, in 1916, Lord Kitchener, the British Minister for War, was drowned, um, obviously on a boat. Really? Tricky, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, talking about boats, the uh, Allied uh, forces were loading up, getting ready for uh, D-Day on the 6th. Uh, in 1944 and 1967, the Six-Day War between Israel and the Arabs uh, broke out. Guess how long it lasted? A week. Not quite. Not quite a week. Not quite a week. Okay. And in 1968, uh, Robert Kennedy was shot after a primary vote in California. And in 2012, Ray Bradbury, best-selling science fiction author, died at the age of 91. Now, today we're going to do stuff-ups. People who just did monumental cock-ups. Yes. If you, we, we all know we've had fails. Yeah, we've all had fails at some times. But, yeah. And our first one, we're going to lead off with um, the same fail by two different people. Yes. Um, the invasion of Russia in 1812 and in 1941. Um, Napoleon invaded Russia for a short summer campaign. Yeah. Did, did nobody in Napoleon's army look at a map and go, well, it's thousands upon thousands of miles across Russia? Yeah, and so there's even so, a bit more of Russia. And you think you've done with Russia, there's more Russia. Yes, so, no, we're not going to get it done in three months. Really? Yeah, I mean, let's face it, they were doing it at walking pace, so how are you going to walk thousands upon thousands of miles in three months? So You're very clever. <laughs> yes. So that's the Russian defence, a fighting retreat till you just run out of puff. Yeah. And then when you're stuffed, they start attacking. Um, and Hitler was a bigger goose because he must have known what Napoleon did wrong mm. and did exactly the same thing. Yes. Um, well, to pack a few jackets, perhaps. Yeah, a few jackets. <laughs> um, maybe chilly. start a little earlier, prepare to run a little later, you know. Yes, yes. perhaps. That's um, just, um, you know. Yeah, you don't, yeah, a bit of a fail militarily. Um, mm. Only slightly more peaceful note. Yes. Um, there's a little boy band, a little old boy band in 1962, walked into Decca Records to um, do audition. Well, their manager did. Well, the manager did, yes. Yes, and then they walked in. And then they walked in. And the executives at Decca Records thought that guitar music was on the way out. Yes. And this particular band had no future in, in show business. In show business. Yep, yeah, that no future. No. Um, I don't know if many people have heard of this little boy band. It's called the Beatles. Yes. yes. You may have heard of them. Yeah. No, no future. No, it had no future at all. No. No, no it had just a complete flop. Well, that's the other thing. Um, EMI, <coughs> Parlophone was their novelty record label, so they really didn't hold much hope for them either. Um, they went and stuck, oh, well, if nothing happens, yeah, no loss. So they stuck them on their novelty record label, Parlophone, yeah. and... Voila! Well, yeah. it's like Sony decided to put, no, we won't put Evanescence on a main label, we'll just put them on Wind Up Records as a little side project there. But we really, oh, but we actually need a male lead singer, because a female lead singer is never going to work. <laughs> yeah, no. No, no, Evanescence never, never worked. No, no. 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 Okay. <laughs> speaking of Sony. Yes, yeah, speaking of Sony. Yes, well, okay, so they were going to do a joint project with Nintendo in 1988. Yes. Um, and uh, what were they going to do? They were going to put a, a CD extension on the Nintendo Entertainment System, or Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So, you know, the, it looks like a VCR, you flip up, uh, younger viewers may not know what a VCR. Before the shiny silver disc things, yeah. there were big black things with tape inside them. Mm. VCRs, right. Anyway, it looked like a VCR, you flip the little flap up. And you put your cartridge in. Well, this you put where you put the cartridge. You put like a CD drive there. All right. And that's what Nintendo and, and Sony were thinking of doing. A few set. This is in the late eighties, and there was setback after setback after setback, including the fight over who was going to get what revenue, where, and how. Yeah. And and Nintendo went. Oh, this is getting a little frustrating. Let's go over to talk to Philips, which Sony understandably didn't like very much. No. no. Stuff you. Stuff you. We're going to make our own console. Yes. You may have heard of the console called the PlayStation. Yeah, no, no, it won't work. No, no, it won't work. No, 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 it won't work. No, no, it was only the most successful, the second most successful console ever sold, but most successful was the PS2. 
that sold more units than any other home console. Yes, yes. Because yeah. that's about every it. house has an old PS2 stuffed somewhere in the cupboard. Yeah. But they're good to play. I mean, hey. Uh, they're, yeah. they're fairly robust too. It'll put up with being shoved in the cupboard. It'll put up with children. I found PS, the original PS ones, don't like being underwater. Uh, they don't? No, no. The, 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 amazingly though, um, once they dry up, I've had one work again. Yeah, but then again, the power <laughs> supply wasn't quite dry. Yes, yes, yes. Oops. Yeah, but, yes. So, if, if, um, with our PlayStations, yes, they will work after they've been submerged and dried out. Believe it or not. Yeah, you just can't, you can't kill them with an axe. <laughs> um, anyway, so we just wanted to make a little point here about the gorilla that was shot recently after a toddler fell into its enclosure. Yes, my question is, if a baby gets into a politician's enclosure, do we shoot politicians? Can, can thinking, we shoot politicians? Yes, I just had sort of a meme on Facebook about, about, about uh, gorillas and politicians, and I just, it just occurred to me, you know, um, you know, politicians going around kissing babies, so, you know, if babies get too close to politicians, can we actually shoot politicians? I mean, that would save us a lot of grief in the future. Yeah, it would. <laughs> okay, who had a birthday on this day? Well, um, Edmund of Langley, um, first Duke of York, um, on this day, born on this day in 1341. Yes, he was son of Edward III. Okay, now, a uh, Finnish chemist. Johann um, Gendelin, um discovered yttrium, and then discovered there was in, 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 in Sweden, and then discovered, oh, well, there's three other metals we've found, so why don't we call them erbium, terbium, and iterbium. Okay. A1 for creativity. The man was an imaginative soul. Oh, he was. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 1850, Pat Garrett, uh, the man credited with um, capturing Billy the Kid, was born on this day in 1850. Yeah, because when you go around shooting people and rubbing trains, people get annoyed with you. You, you think so? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Um, 1895, William Boyd, better known to the cinema world as Hopalong Cassidy, was born on this day. Yeah. And in 1915, um, for all the brainiacs, Lancelot Ware, the uh, founder of Mensa, was born. Yes. And in 1971, Mark Wahlberg was born um, from... In Boston. Ted. Yeah. In Boston. He was known for being in Ted. Ted Boogie Nights. Yes. The remake of the Italian job. Many thousand other things. Many, many other things. Yes. Alright, well that's us for another another week. If you like us, like us. If you don't like us, inflict us on all your friends. Yes. Okay, see you in the dark side. We got we got cookies. Bye.